Hello everybody and welcome back to Thai Talk with Dan, the channel where we share your Thailand stories. Now we've had a lot of Thailand stories on this channel and my favourites by far are from the guys that have first come to Thailand and shared their own experience and this next subscriber is one of those. This guy had recently lost his girlfriend. He's been popping antidepressants that were prescribed by his doctor due to his loss. And then he bumped into his friend that had just come back from Thailand with his new hot young Thai girlfriend. And he decided, I want a bit of that. So he decided to head over to the best possible place in Thailand to find the perfect Thai partner, Patia. What could possibly go wrong in Sin City? So without further ado, let's find out what this subscriber got up to on his first trip to Thailand. Hi Dan, I was in a local public house in the UK with my old friend Tom. He had just come back from Pattaya, Thailand and come home with this very beautiful young lady. Tom told me it was good in Thailand and I was feeling a little low as my lady had passed away and my doctor had given me some antidepressants. I was not even thinking about going to Thailand at all until this barmaid who I fancied for such a very long time said to me, you will never go to Thailand because you have no money. Uh, two hours later. I was really hurting inside and felt very lonely without my girlfriend. So with that being said, I told Tom, can you book me a holiday tomorrow, please? So he came the next day to my home with his very beautiful Thai girlfriend and sorted everything out for me. Then I had to go to the bank and get some money and pay Tom back. So anyway, off I went to Manchester Airport. When I arrived, I got a taxi from Bangkok to Pattaya. I checked into my hotel and then I decided to go out. Now, it was so very different from any place I had ever been to before in my life. This very beautiful lady said, You sexy man. She got hold of my hand and she was so very beautiful. I felt my heart race. Wow, she really knew how to make all my dreams come true. Every day I'm shuffling. So we talked for a bit and I bought her a drink or two. Then she said if I pay her bar fine, she would sort me out with a Thailand SIM card. She was 30 years old, but she looked so much younger. So she got me a Thailand SIM, sorted out my phone and it was working again. She asked me to get some food from the street cart, which was very cheap, but we got a lot. And when we got back to the bar, she shared the food with the other bar girls. They were all eating off each other's plates. We were all sat at a table and all the girls were so very friendly and were so very tactile under the table. Let's just say I was enjoying her friend's company. I got her friend a drink, but the girl I was with did not like this and said something in Thai and told me, to not get her any more drinks. So I drank up and paid the bill. I was going back to my hotel and she asked me to wait until she had finished her drink and then she walked to my hotel with me. She gave the hotel her driving license then we walked up the stairs. She asked if it was my very first time and I said yes. It was, but I meant with a Thai lady. I think she thought I was a virgin, 
but she was a 10 out of 10 lady, so I went with the flow. She showered very fast and then she wanted to shower with me too. Well, I went with the flow again and let her do anything she wanted. She was so amazing. She was a proper pro at washing, the best ever. But that's a different story. So in the morning, we showered and we went out. She had to leave and go home. She said she lived with her brother, who was a motorbike taxi driver. I thought that was a little bit strange, but still, I could have some free time to see the beach and different bars. I also chatted to the hotel receptionist at the hotel, and he told me that the girl I was with was only 22 and not 30 years old. He showed me her paper copy of her driving license, so I went to her bar and she was not there, but her friend was, who was so very friendly and wanted to hold my hand under the table. She asked me if I wanted to do a short time. Now I did not really understand what that was, but she put it in black and white for me. I said, flip me. She said, that's right, I want to flip you. So I got her a couple of drinks and I thought it was maybe a test. And I was tired and I did not have much sleep the night before. So I said, no thanks, I need a couple of hours sleep. So I went back to the hotel, had a little sleep and then went back to the bar later on. She was there and the girl I spent the night with who told me that the other girl who I held hands with previously that she liked me and to not buy her any more drinks. I said, okay, but never told her about seeing her earlier. Then my UK friend Terry called me and told me he was in Isan and was spending a week in Patia as there was no aircon in the village house and if he did not leave, he would die very soon. I told the Thai girl that my friend was coming from Isan. He is 30 years younger than me, but she said she liked the older man and I believed her as I'm such a daft fool. Anyway, they chatted on my phone and she got his line ID. She said she would let him know when she sorts out a room for him, which she did. Then this Thai girl asked me if I would pay to fix her brother's motorbike. I agreed and I paid well over the odds for it, but she took me to other beaches where there were no people and you can go skinny dipping. After that little fiasco, she asked if we could go shopping and go to the local shopping centre and I agreed. However, I did not know that she wanted to buy a brand new phone. I said, no, I was not getting her one as I was not paying her money and I told her to buy her own. She had crocodile tears, but I said no, and also I did not have a lot of money on me anyway, as she wanted the best, and there was no way that I was buying her a phone that was better than mine. So after that, a couple of days passed, and Terry phoned to tell me he had met this Thai girl in the morning, and she had got him a lovely room not far from my hotel. So I wanted to meet him and see his room. He told me he was going to have a couple of hours in bed and meet me at the 7-Eleven shop at 6pm at night. We met later on and he showed me his room which was around the corner from this Thai girl's place. Anyway, Terry asked if I wanted to have a mate's night out so I told this Thai girl that she could work in the bar and come and see me at 1am in the morning. So me and Terry went around Patia, and Terry always got a short time girl, but only if they would go around drinking with him before going back to his room. 
So later on, I went back to my hotel for 1am and as her bar was 50 feet away from the hotel, she came around 10 past 1 every night. She had a shower and wanted to shower me also, which was so very lovely as most girls I have met just want to make a coffee. Anyway, that night she said she loved big and fat and older men. The older, the better. Now I could not understand why she said this as I was a bit of a thick head. She was 10 out of 10 and I loved being with her. She was so amazing. I felt like I was walking on air. Anyway, Terry had to go home and he asked me if we could have a farewell drink with him. The Thai girl said she could come also, but I would have to pay a bar fine. And with normally seeing me after work, I did not have to pay a bar fine. So I said, OK, and we met up with my friend. Now, he had been drinking all day as he did not like flying. Now, my Thai girl got him two roses and Terry said thank you. And then he asked if we could share my Thai girl before he went back home on the plane. Now, I did not want to, but he had his suitcase in my room as he had to be out for 11 a.m. The Thai girl said no, but paid for all his drinks. I was really peed off as I was getting her drinks and she was paying for Terry's and he asked to share my Thai girl. My head was in a total spin. Then Terry said he needed to tell me something later on. Anyway, Terry got his case and his taxi and then two hours later he phoned me and told me that he had met my Thai girl at the 7-Eleven and she had taken him to his room and stayed with him. <coughs> now I knew then why this Thai girl was getting him drinks. Then Terry told me that her brother was actually her husband. When he told me this, I really hated myself inside. I really was believing that she liked fat old men, but not really. They are just easier to use and fool. So I washed my face a couple of times and came out of the toilet. Then she kissed me and asked me to ring the bell. I said, no way. I am not, but you can ring the bell and pay for everyone yourself. Then I said that I am going to your bar and she said, I am stopping here. So I went to her bar and told the other Thai girl, Som, it was her that I wanted to be with and not Ons. She said, if I wanted her, I could, but she does not want any trouble at my hotel. She said there was a hotel on Second Road and that we could go there. So off we went. And she used her ID card and we stopped the night. She was even better than Ons. She gave me an oil massage and I felt like a king. And then showered and kissed me all over. Now I felt so much better with spending some quality time with some. And then my phone rang. I answered it and it was Ons. She said she was stopping at my hotel, waiting for me. I smiled and said nothing and turned my phone off. But then the next day, back at my hotel, I got told a lady stopped the night waiting for me. So I asked the receptionist to change my room and he said that he would say that I had found a cockroach in it, so changed my room and got it sprayed. The next day, he said that if Ons called, he would show her that I had moved and there was two doors to the hotel and I only had one week left to go. But it felt like I was hiding, so I decided to head off to the bar. As soon as I arrived, Ons was sat there wearing sunglasses and underneath the sunglasses, she had two black eyes. 
It turned out that she had been fighting with some, but she told me to chat to the mamasan, the boss lady, and she said that it was very wrong having two girls from the same bar as it makes trouble. Mamasan wanted me to have some and ons at the same time. Nice. So I told her that I need to think about it, but the truth was that I was very frightened. They both were looking at me, so I ran off and never went back to the bar. Right guys, what can I say about this subscriber? Pretty crazy. He obviously doesn't understand the way things work in Patia and what these girls are all about. They're just simply bar girls. They're there to generate money from you and put a cheeky smile on your face. However, that smile will soon turn upside down. If you spend a long time with the same woman, there are always problems and always complications and more money is always involved. Once they feel like they've caught a fish and they start to reel you in, yep, they're going to take you to go and buy a new phone, take you to the jewellery shop, tell you that they absolutely love you, you are one in a million and they've never seen a foreigner like you they will say and literally do anything so guys if you're going to go to a place like patia and have some fun times please don't stick with the same woman unless your head is fully screwed on you've not just got out of a messy divorce you're not emotional you're not likely to fall in love as long as you know, you're well put together and you're ready for the challenge, then yeah, you could spend a week or two with a woman from the bar. But I would definitely recommend not to do it just because of the complications that can arise and it can really turn your paradise of a holiday into a hellish one. Now, I do feel like if this guy knew the score, a lot of the problems that he had wouldn't have happened. Yes, it is bad to get two girls from the same bar that you're constantly going to every day. Normally, they don't fight to the extent of giving the other woman two black eyes, but it can kick off. There can be a bit of rivalry at the end of the day. It's not about you, you being handsome or anything of that nature. It's about the other woman stealing her money. That is her mark, her customer. That is someone that she's trying to make fall in love with her so she can get a hell of a lot of money out of and hopefully the jackpot of a monthly sponsorship. And that woman should not mess around with her customer. So obviously it kicked off. So that is something to learn and understand if you're not familiar with that here in Thailand. Apart from that, guys, pretty standard stuff for people's first time, especially, especially when they're coming to Thailand with some kind of issues. This guy's girlfriend just passed away. He should have just took time to get over that and got himself emotionally sorted got himself off the antidepressants at least. Um, so he's fine, he's properly single, you know, he's moved on and then, yeah, do whatever the hell you want. Uh, but don't be coming over to a place like Patia when you've got emotional problems, mental health problems. It's not a good place to come where these type of women are all around you and the alcohol is flowing. It's not a good mix at all. Now, guys, if you've got a first time story of coming over here to Thailand and you want to share it with everyone as it's either funny or it can actually help people from not making the same mistakes as you or simply both, then please feel free to share it on the channel and send an email to thaitalkwithdan at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy. Stay safe out there and learn from your lessons and move on and don't make them again if something like this has happened to you. Ciao for now, guys. Bye-bye.